Yes, as everyone, it's Let's Boredom, and welcome to my latest boop, 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 boop video. And today, part 17, Need for Speed Underground 2. It has been a long time since I've played this game. I don't know why I actually stopped, but because when I start one thing, I finish it. And I'm going to finish this Let's Play. Come with me, we're going to take a ride with the A3. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Oh no, oh no, oh no. What the hell? Okay, now I fixed it because there was a problem with the steering wheel. Now we're going to go further and let's try to find a race. I have no idea what we've done the last time and we're going to make a race and I think let's take the street cross. Um, because it's right there in the front. Let's go. It has been such a long time when I've played this game for the last time. Um, actually, I planned to already finish the series back in 2019, but because I was busy with university and stuff, I couldn't get bothered and finish it earlier. But now, because I have holidays for four weeks, I can just do my own thing and continue. Um, so what's the plan? Yep, just finish the game. Because unlike many other people who just cancel projects, I'm one person who prefers to do either one single video or just if I make a series then I'm going to finish it and that's my first let's play and I think it would be a shame if I'm going to quit it without having completed the story mode because actually that's one of the nicest story modes I've ever played and for some reason I'm not going to win this race um, because the the one who's in the lead he's way too far away I probably need to restart or maybe the all-wheel drive system of this A3 is just not good enough uh, let's restart it it doesn't make any sense maybe I just need to cheat a little bit and flip the opponents over Oh yeah, there we go, that was good. And I also have to brake quite a lot, maybe I need to use the handbrake a bit more often because the regular brake is not strong enough. Actually, I believe that the all-wheel drive system is not good for that kind of races, it's better for front wheel, nah, actually for nimble rear-wheel drive systems it's the best. Oh no. That dude absolutely cannot drive. Now I need to get the lead. I, even though this car is fully customized with all the latest parts, it still has lots of struggle, struggle to keep up. Oh well. Come on, we can, we can, we can do this. Let's do this, this was good. Okay, okay. Um, last corner and we won. Good. Now let's see how many rep points I'm going to get. 100 is not all too bad. Better continue now because we need to... Um, yeah, here's the map. We need to make a few more races, what do we have? Let's go and take this cursed here. Okay, here we go. I 
As you know, I got also in real life an Audi A3, um, but compared to this one, mine is a five-door sport deck, while, and also it doesn't have the V6 engine. It got the, um, the 2.0 TFSI engine, and it is also only front-wheel drive, compared to this one, which has the quattro, quattro all-wheel drive system. Um, yeah, now I'm back again in the gold digger mode and collecting money which is on the street. Oh, that's nice, motorway. A Q for, uh, a G35, a Kunic Coupe and a Golf GTI. Here we go. There we are in the lead. Oh my god, this is really fast. 280 kilometers per hour. 290, come on. Okay. Somehow the brakes are really, 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 really weak with the A3. And maybe that's one of the reasons why this car is considered as pretty bad in the game. But because I own this car in real life and it is re. and compared to the counterpart now in the game, it's a lot nicer to drive. And I think they could have done it a lot better. Now we're going. Oh no, a shortcut went wrong. Use some NOS. There we go. What a nice power slide. Um, it's really difficult to compare anything what's inside the game with something what is in real life. Especially this game dates back to end 2004. So, oh well, so this is something what is like no other, like, you cannot compare it with something what is from real life. Especially because of the game's age, I mean, now we are in 2020, the game is 15 years old. And thinking about the fact that I drive a car which predates back to... 2003 2004 well actually the sport packet came out in 2006 i guess and i got the latest model minus the 2011 one like it was the last one from the 8p range so that's something what is to consider because uh, cars which are from the latest uh period from the model range they are like the best ones because all the the all the bad all the bad things got fixed as good as possible, and also the engine I have is it predates also back in 2004 and it was used in the Golf 5 GTI, and that's why I sometimes say I own a VW Golf GTI because my car has exactly the exactly that car uh, sorry my car got exactly that engine and it's just incredible I mean I, I was not really a fan of GTIs but I had one in my uh, driving school my driving teacher got uh, got the VW Golf 6 GTI and it was like a really comfortable car to drive compared to some other golfs, let's say a TSI or a TDI, mainly because of the seats, because uh, VW Golf is very famous for having pretty rubbish seats. Oh yeah, we're going 300. Oh yeah. Um, rubbish seats and 
the Golf uh, GTI had like sports seats and so, uh, many people might think sports seats are not so comfortable but in the case of the GTI they were really really comfortable and also the fact that the seats in the A3 like I also expected that the A3 will be a pretty uncomfortable car just like the regular Golf but Luckily, I got the S line package package with uh, the S line sports seats. Um, they're really comfortable, I must say. For that, they're partly cloth and par partly leather wrapped. I think that they're those seats are really really nice, especially really comfortable. And I'll, I also made a few longer journeys with them, and I must say. The seats are really really comfortable and I would not trade them in for something what is not as comfortable as that. Also, the fact that Audi is a, more or less a premium brand compared to VW, I think this also makes it a lot more different. Okay, let's use the NOS until the end. Come on! Yeah, we won this. Take your car's look at to the next level, the latest rims have just arrived in stock, available at all Bayview body shops. Cool. Let's see what we... Uh, no. No. Yeah. I need to find all the controls because I'm really unsure where they all are, but whatever. Let's do this race now. Luckily it's not very far away from the last race. Ah, here it is. Well, let's pick this money. 200 is also something to consider. Okay, that's inner city. Actually, I think about getting it with the focus done, but maybe we will get the focus back later at a later stage. Let's do this first. A Toyota Supra, a Corsa, and a 106. Um, also, com uh, also another comparison with the Golf GTI and the A3, uh, or better said, with generally Golfs. Um, Golfs are very well known for having a very stiff clutch, and also my car is also manual. I just prefer driving a manual car because uh, because then I can control the fuel consumption and it is a lot more fun to drive than an automatic transmission so I expected that the clutch from an A3 will be also really stiff and that it uh, if there is a lot of stop and go that the clutch will hurt my left knee but it wasn't actually the case like compared to some other models like when you build in a brand new clutch it's really really stiff but luckily this was not the case with my A3 also because the fact that the A3 has the same engine it's basically a Golf GDI but it's it's more on the comfortable side but it's still really really fun to drive compared to some other cars I've driven which are in the same segment and actually think that the A3 was was legit a dream car like seriously and we're finishing in the race let's give full NOS I don't know well 100 but it's mainly because the car is really difficult to handle in the game still I actually don't mind as long as the car drives and as long as I win everything is fine Let's take the, the other race, which is also nearby. Yes! Let's go for that one. I don't care what uh, what the other drivers got, car what kind of cars the other drivers got, but just need to get speed. And yeah, I know I took the wrong, the wrong choice for driving on the motorway. And now I'm going to take this one because the other one is just too 
difficult. But uh, because of the great speed, I'm doing pretty well right now. Okay, no, that went wrong. That went wrong. Oh no. It would be actually cool if I had the chance to take my uh, my A3 for a track day. That would be really, really cool. Like, I don't know how it performs on an actual race track, but it it is definitely a car which is definitely which is not to ignore by its power well you you might think well 200 horsepower that's absolutely nothing but compared to some other cars in the game like let's say the the mark 4 gti um, that one has like 160 or 180 horsepower with a 1.8 liter engine this car actually actually should be better Oh no, how could I do this? That's embarrassing AF. No, I want to continue the race. Well, I got still three laps left. Well, no, the first lap is going to finish and then I got two more laps. So I can overtake the one in front of me without uh, any problems. But he's going left. Well, I'm building up a lot more speed than he does, so... Let's get this done. No! Why am I crashing with this thing? This is no words left. Okay, we. Ha I have to admit that the handling of this A3 is absolutely horrible. And one thing is for sure, I don't want to restart this race. I absolutely don't want to do with. I absolutely don't want to do this. He's not very far away from me, so this is absolutely fine. Just need to overtake him then on the motorway no come on come on this cannot be true Whatever, we, we're going to nail it anyway. I'm really convinced of this. Maybe it will be tired, but let's overtake him. So far so good. Nah, I need to break a little bit earlier because this corner is very, very tight. Let's collect some NOS as well because we definitely need it later on. I'm sorry for the silence, but I'm j I just have to concentrate myself so that I don't do any crucial mistakes. 
Okay, go away, go away. Hopefully the luck is on the luck is on my side. Okay. Not that's the last straight. Let's kick it. Two seconds at least. Okay. Well, no reputation points. That's really unfortunate, but it's okay. We're going to... Oh, we won nevertheless. New suspension. Get the tightest handling on the streets. New top-of-the-line suspensions available exclusively at all Bayview performance shops. Okay. Um, I suggest now we stop the regular races and we go to make... Oh. There are two races. I think we go and make this one. Or you know what, we're going to switch the car because I think it's really unbearable to drive it. Or you know what, whatever, we're going to make it anyway because I just want to drive with day free, my favorite car anyway. There we go. They use no. Everyone uses the NOS straight on. It's totally annoying. I don't know why why they are doing this. Skyline at TT and behind me was a coupe. Like Hyundai coupe, not just a regular coupe. Um. On, in other places, it, the Hyundai Coupe is called the Hyundai Tiburon, like in the US, for example. And that TT in front of me has the same engine as I do, but let's flip him over because he doesn't deserve to be in the front, it's me. Cruising with 200 kmh in the city? Check. Oh, yeah. Crash and burn, baby. Literally, crash and burn. <laughs> That was really well avoided. No, 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 no! Oh well, that was really tight. No! Come on. Compared to some others, to some other cars, this car seems to be pretty bulky, broad, and very stiff. No! Come on. I was lucky in that, in that regard, and in that one too. Well, whatever. Um, again, lucky. Um, it's very stiff. It's really the all-wheel drive system. But other cars, let's say, which are a bit bigger, like the Lancer Evo, they are also four-wheel drive. But they are nowhere near as stiff as the A3. No! Back off. Like this is on the... Back off TT, back off. Me personally, I like the TT. It's a really, really good looking car. But some other people, they think this car sucks. 
It's just a pretty awesome end 90s, beginning of the 2000s car. A real classic, just sad that they discontinued the, the car from the model line of, from Audi. Why am I crashing all the time? This just doesn't make any sense. I'm lucky that nobody's overtaking me. No! That's why I hate driving in the wrong direction. Always, uh, there's always something going wrong. this way no that TT was lucky because what I fail in the corners I make it up with my really good acceleration Oh yeah, we're catching up. But I believe I'm not going to make this because that dude is way too far in the front. No! I lost this race. Okay, what the hell happened there? I just don't get it. I think we're not... I think we're just not going to do this race with this car. We're going to take another one. I just want to try out this drift race. Maybe I dare I have more luck because it's been such a long time. And I don't know in what the A3 was good in. I believe it was nothing, but there has to be something in what the A3 is good. And I hope it's drifting. And hell yeah, it's really doing well. Oh well, I couldn't see the wall because of all the smoke. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's really good, that's really good. All-wheel drive power. In real life it would be actually the... the rear wheel drive which is nailing it. Oh well. I'm in the lead even though I'm very far behind. 
but it doesn't deter me from be scoring really nice drifts. And I ruined it. We are going to make another good one. I'm really convinced of this. Oh yeah. I'm still very far in the front compared to the competitors. But still, uh, I'm, I don't think it will be enough, but we'll see. Like, maybe I will have again a big drift and drift and completely ru ruin it. But hey, that dude with the scout just cannot drift, even though he has also all-wheel drive. I guess the scout has all-wheel drive because that car is really, really ridiculously fast. Oh yeah, that's great, that's great, that's great, good. Oh no. I barely touched the wall and, did the, and then the points got deducted. The angles I get with the drift are just amazing, like, so much power, that's insane. I probably won't finish the race, but however, I got more than double the points than the one which is in second place. Oh well. And also for have, for being a four-wheel drive car, that it makes so much wheel spin, it's actually... It's really insane. Race over, time's up, and I won it. A 350Z and a Skyline and an MX-5 cannot beat an A3. That doesn't make sense, but reputation points 300 and 1,200 money. Let's go back to the explorer mode. One of my contacts has just called to let me know that a photographer from Kolm and Flammen is in town looking for hot cars for next month's cover. Head to the store on the map and I'll call you with more details when you get there. Well, the A3 sh surely in this stage is not a hot car, but it should resemble my car, it's, no it's nothing to brag about. I cannot customize, I cannot race my car all the way at max like the other cars like the Sentra but hey it doesn't matter the Sentra will be the show car and this will be the car with whom I'm going to destroy everyone that was it from my side I hope that you really enjoyed the video leave me a thumb up if you came up until this point here also don't forget to comment me something as feedback is always good don't forget to subscribe me as I'm sure you don't want to miss any of my future videos want to stay in touch with me my Instagram and my Discord are both in the description linked below. Stay tuned and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye!